Hi guys, welcome back to the Athlete Programme YouTube channel. I'm Mike Catris, head coach of the programme. I'm here with Maddie Harris, and today we're going to be going through our kettlebell series. We're going to look now at the kettlebell clean and jerk. So Maddie's just going to show us a few reps to start with. We're going from the hang each time, pop into the shoulder and overhead. One more. Thanks, man. Okay, big things to consider here, similar to our previous video when we looked at the kettlebell swing, is making sure that we're using that posterior chain to engage uh, throughout the start of that movement. So one of the things we see quite a lot here, especially at light loads, is when the reps are going straight down, straight up, and then we see a slow turnover with that kettlebell crashing on our shoulders. You wanna show us one of those? And that kettlebell then crashing on the shoulder, and there's a lot of upper body and instability in that catch. So we go back into that hang position for me, turning that thumb towards our, our bodies, and we're gonna engage that posterior chain by leaning back slightly, and then popping the hips and rotate into the shoulder. Hold that catch for me on this one, and we're in a much more stable position there with that rotation allowing the kettlebell to sit on the outside of our arm, which puts us in a nice position, ready to jerk and overhead. Good. And with that jerk there, we can go for a push press, or a push jerk, as we did on the last one, where we're getting underneath that rep. The push jerk is obviously a little bit slower, but it allows us to remain efficient if we're cycling tons of reps, whereas the push press will be a little bit quicker if we've got a lighter load or less reps. So really focusing there on engaging that posterior chain at the start, that rotation, and keeping that kettlebell nice and close. As a coaching cue here, if you're coaching this to your athletes, I'd always consider saying, imagine there's something really close and in front of you. You don't want that kettlebell to swing out and away from you. And the closer that'll stay to you, the more likely you are to catch it in a good position and in not to flick over and crash on you. And that's the kettlebell clean and jerk.